Hey, good evening. This is Marlou Steinsen from the Netherlands, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Um, and I gave a workshop to my um, co-team members from the Stampin' Utopia team uh, last Saturday, in which I showed them how to make this uh, blinking LED card with the lighthouse from the high tide step from the new occasional catalogue. And the fun thing about this card is as soon as you move the boat to the right, then it starts flashing. Um, so they were able to make it and they were very enthusiastic. Uh, and they asked afterwards whether I could make a... Um, how to make a blinking LED card for dummies uh, explanation. Um, so I thought, well, maybe let's make a video and let's show you um, how it's done. Um, a quick explanation of what a, uh, blink a blinking LED card is about. It's basically what I like. Uh, um, you can make a card on which you press somewhere and that it starts blinking. But I like that it's a bit more um, interactive, so that you have to do a bit more or you need to understand what you uh, do by um, uh, puzzling a bit. So, for example, in this uh, picture where you have the camera, um, you can uh, well make uh, something on the bread, and if you put the bread on top of this paper over here, it will be uh, blinking. Why is it blinking? Because we are making an electric circuit from the plus side of the battery through the LED light and then back to the uh, other side of the battery. That's basically how you set up a LED circuit. And you use the bread to connect the one side with the other side. And you put it on, on top of it and you see it's blinking. So now step by step, we're going to do this for a balloon, from the um, balloon framelits. I'm going to make a white blinking LED below, such that I, if I'm going to um, stamp a basket below, this will be the heater that makes that it's an air balloon. That's, well, that's basically the idea uh, I had. So I'm going to attach my LED to the balloon. I'm going to bend my feet of the LED a bit, such that we are going to move the current to both sides. I take a half dimensional, take the balloon and put it on the put the LED on the balloon. So what we want to do is we want to make a current from the one side to the other side. We cut two small copper strips that we put below the feet of the LED. This is to make sure that if we put the copper foil on top of the feet of the LED we are sure that this current is flowing and that there is no air or paper in between that stops our electric circuit um, such that the light won't um, shine. We want the battery on the top and the, well let's say that the we want the bread on the top, so let's do it like this. So we're going to attach some copper fold tape on this side. Let's check how to put the battery, if we need to put it the other side up or not. So how we do this, we put the battery on this copper foil tape and we connect some copper foil tape to the other feet of the LED. And we don't see it burn. So now let's put it the other way around and we see that it will shine. So we need to put the battery this side 
down. So let's put some glue next to the copper fold tape. Make sure that it's not on the copper fold tape because if there's glue between the battery and the copper fold tape it won't direct the current anymore so there's no closed circuit. So no light. So we put the glue there. We put the other copper fold tape over here. And the other one over there. And we said we wanted to have the light shine if we put the bread at the top of the balloon downwards. So how do we do that? We attach some copper fold tape over here. And now the only thing is that we need to connect the copper fold tape from here to there. So we cut one more little piece. And we connect it from here to there. If we now take the bread and we place it here from there, you see that it will be shining. And we can make a nice balloon card with a lighting heater. So that's about it for the basics of making a blinking LED circuit. Thanks for watching and see you next time.